To begin the compaction test, you will first need to weigh the bottom portion of the mold without the collar. Make note of this weight. Once you do that, you can attach the collar back into the base of the mold. The next step is to weigh approximately 2,000 grams of the soil you will be using. You will also make note of this weight. You will then be using this formula to calculate how much water will be needed. We know the weight of the soil. We know the moisture content we want our sample to have. And since our soil is dry, we can assume that the initial moisture content is zero. Here is a sample calculation if we started off with 2000 grams and our goal is to reach a moisture content of 25%. We can now zero the weight of the empty bottle without the spray nozzle. Then we can measure the calculated weight of the water. Now that we have the amount of water we need, we can begin spraying and mixing the soil. Keep doing this until there's no more water. Once you are done, you can now begin to fill your compaction mold. You will compact the soil into three layers. Keep in mind of the soil you are using. Some soils may require the layers to be thicker than others. Once the first layer is filled, you can compact the soil following this pattern. Each layer will have a total of 25 blows. After the layer has been compacted, you will need to make scratches on the surface of the layer to help the next layer attach to it. Once you do that, you can repeat the process for the second and third layer. Once you are done, you can now remove the collar on the mold. Then, by using a straight edge, you will need to shave off the excess soil and create a flat surface at the top. You will then need to brush off any soil that may have fallen on the mold. Once it is cleaned off, you will weigh the mold again and make note of it. Now you can remove the mold from the base. You will do this by lifting and at the same time twisting it to separate it from the base. You will now take the soil and use the extractor to remove the mold from your sample. Make sure that your mold is aligned with the hole at the top before and during the extraction. You will then use the metal rod to tighten the screw. Now you can use the metal rod to lift your sample. Once your soil sample is out, you can then carefully take your soil sample. Then, you will need to take the weight of two empty tins and make note of them. Pieces from your soil sample will be collected from the center. Cut your soil sample in half and cut off pieces from the middle to put into the two tins. Then, you will retake the weight of the tins and make note of it.
You will then need to allow the soil and the tins to be fully dried. Once they are dried, you can take the weight of the tins again and make another note of it. Using this formula, you can now calculate the moisture content. 